To configure the fan on the air cart, we'll tap on the fan icon in the config menu. In here, we get to set some minimum and maximum alarms for actual fan speed. And we also get to choose the uh, resolution, how many pulses per revolution of our, uh, that our fan speed sensor is going to see. So in this case, I'm just using one pulse per revolution. Uh, the next thing we get to do is set up a pressure sensor. If we're using a pressure sensor, we can uh, tell it what input on the ECU it's going to be expecting to see that input on. And once we enable that, we'll see a little pressure icon over in the soft keys. We'll tap on that and here we can set our pressure sensor up. So we get to choose from voltage, current or frequency type sensor here. Uh, we get to select what units we're going to be measuring in. We'll leave that as KPA uh, and some minimum and maximum voltages uh, that are applicable for the sensor type. Um, there's also a minimum output, expected output in KPA, uh, as well as maximum there. Uh, the usual defaults on those are pretty applicable to most air cart situations. The next thing we have to do is calibrate our sensor. So if we tap on the uh, sensor calibration icon over here, we get to set some minimum and maximum pressure alarms. They'll pop up on our run screen just to warn us if we've got low fan pressure or high fan pressure. Next thing we have to do is do a calibration on the sensor. So we'll press our play arrow here. First thing we need to do is a zero point calibration, which is with the uh, fan turned off and no, uh, no fan RPMs there, zero pressure. Uh, and we'll just hit tick. And that's found our uh, minimum voltage or our minimum pressure. And then next thing we have to do is uh, start the machine up and run the fan up to a, uh, to a normal working pressure, maybe a little bit higher and measure it with an external gauge. When you measure that uh, pressure, you enter in the uh, pressure in this, uh, this box here and then tick it. And that's just updated our offset as well as our slope. Once that's done, we can return back to the configuration menu.